Yo, still bills. What's the deal, man? Yo, I'm, I'm heading to go pick up my son and my daughter from my my sister's house or her Airbnb before they slide back to Arizona. So I'm just coming on here to chop it up with the homies and all that, man. We got a lot to talk about because of that card last night. So peep game, man. Um, we really got to talk about the you know the production of the PBC, bro, and just how fucking musty it is, man. Like. Ah, oh my God. I'm almost starting to think the shit that they were doing, they were doing intentionally. Like doing on purpose. Fuck it. We did this. This shit for us anyway. This is our last pay-per-view on a show as a show on showtime. So fuck it. Let's just have a little bit of fun. I wanna say they the shit that they was doing, they was doing on purpose. They put Jose Benavidez graphic up when it was David Benavidez, it's time to fight. They put Ergashev's uh, uh, uh Mario Barrio's uh graphic in place of Ergashev's face with Ergashev's name on it. And they put Ugas' graphic in place of Subriel Matias. They was just doing a lot of musty shit. They do, I, they had Canelo on, on there as well. They was just doing a lot of wild shit. A lot of wild shit. And maybe, and I'm not going to cap, bro. I did not pay for that fight. I had a plug and I streamed that shit. And I'm not apologizing for that, man. My thing is that I'm all for supporting fighters. I'm all for that shit. But when you are going to sit there and rob me or make an attempt to rob me. What makes you think I ain't going to rob you first? The fuck is you talking about? This was not no pay-per-view caliber card. It was a damn good card. Damn good card. Maybe I would even say that some of the undercard fights could have been on, you know, on, on a proper pay-per-view card. I wouldn't have took no issue with a Super Real Matias being on the undercard. I would have took no issue with that whatsoever. But... You are not about to try to sit here and tell, uh, sell me on David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andre being a pay-per-view worthy fight. That's just not no pay-per-view caliber fight because neither one of these niggas are pay-per-view attractions. They're not. So, no, I'm not giving you $80 for that. Ain't no, ain't no way in hell I'm giving you $80 for that. When I got, golly, shit. I got Regis Pro Grade coming up in the next week or two. A few weeks after that, I got the fucking uh, of the Omega card with Wilder and Joshua and fucking Joseph Parker and Otto Wileen and Jarrell Miller and Daniel Dubois and Bivol and, and Lyndon Arthur. I got that coming up. I got that coming up. You think I'm about to fork out $80 to watch motherfucking Demetrius Andre and fucking David Benavidez? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So, yeah, I stream that shit. I stream that shit. Them niggas is not getting my money, bro. Not for that bullshit. Not for that shit. So, I don't know if it was just the streaming app that I was on, but just how them niggas... It was just terrible production. It was terrible production, man. Maybe because I, you know, I... I maybe because it was on the app. I didn't see any, you know, highlight reels. What are you doing, bro? No highlight reels. I didn't see any reels from previous fights, uh, 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 um, episodes of fucking, of, 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 um, what they call that shit. You know, it, it, it's not 24 seven. I, I didn't see any highlight reels of that. I didn't see any highlights and any advertising, you know, any advertisement to upcoming fights. I didn't see none of that shit. I didn't see interviews. I didn't see them jump head up to the commentator table or desk or whatever to talk to Brian Custer. Maybe it was because of the app I was watching it on. I didn't get access to all that other shit. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's the case. But for what I was watching on, I didn't get none of that, bro. And I'm like, this is a fucking God awful product. I can stand corrected if I, only, I didn't get access to that shit because I was watching that shit on the app. But if that was in fact, if that was in fact the finished product, and that's how everybody who even who bought who paid eighty dollars for that fight, if those are the visuals that they got, oh my god, shit! Hold on, y'all. This sun, I got a vicious sun glare. I got I, I got a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit, man, damn. I need some um, windshield washer fluid, man. I got to get this shit off my window because it's fogging up my, my, bed, my view. But if I got, if, if, if that, if, if, if what I got is just because I was on the app, I possibly, okay, whatever the fuck ever. 
But if that if the visual that I was getting is a visual that everybody else got, including the niggas who pay eighty dollars for that shit, that is a testament to why that brand is sinking. No exclusive interviews, no exclusive highlight reels, no advertisement for the up and coming fight. David Morrell fights next month. I ain't see nothing on that. I got one bird's eye view from like the corner of the fucking of, of the of the of the arena. One bird's eye view from the corner of the fucking arena. One. It was the same view for the entirety of the fight. I'm looking at the uh, uh, Jim Gray and all the announcers get in the ring before the fight is going on. Like, bro, I felt like I was I was there. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. I, I, like the vision, of God, I mean, shit, man, you can only see from, you know, from with your two eyes what's in front of your two eyes. So I can't give you different looks from the where from the height of where a camera would be from my two eyes, bro. You, you, nobody can do that shit. So the visuals that I was getting from last night's fight was it was it was a tragedy, bro. There's just no other way to put it. It was tra it was travesty. It was a travesty. It was a travesty. It was a fucking travesty, bro. The shit was it was pathetic. It was pathetic. And maybe even, okay, let's just say I was just getting those visuals because of, you know, the app that I was watching the fight on. How in the fuck does that justify the wrong characters' graphics being put in front of the names of different opponents? Why is Ugas being placed on as the graphic for Subriel Matias? Why is Mario Barrios being the graphic for uh, in place of uh, Ergashev? Why is Jose being the graphic for fucking Benavid for David? Terrible engineering, terrible production. Just it's, it was just filthy, bro. It was filthy. They have turned that shit into a fucking clown, a, a clown show over there. To the point where niggas is kind of anticipating them going down. Like, all right, man, let's just get this last show over with. When HBO went under, I will never forget this. The product over there, we can say what we want to say about the competition that was over there, but it was taken with a sense of pride. You dig what I'm saying? The production, you know, somebody, yo, man, this is my brand right here. You dig? We, I get the Shushi Ming and all them cats. I, I, I get that. I'm not saying that. You know, Bob Arum is just this flawless, you know, promoter or nothing like that. Nobody is. Nobody is. When you think you got something that works and that can appeal to a specific demographic, you're going to push that. The same way the PBC has been trying diligently to do with Isaac Cruz. It's understandable. It's understandable why people do that shit. Maybe we can strike gold right here. And we'll see how far it takes us. So I'm not saying Bob Arum is perfect. I'm not saying that by any stretch of the imagination. But... They took pride in their product. They took pride in the production that they was broadcasting to the fucking world. The PBC on that last broadcast last night was an abomination for TV production. Been passed in history, Brody. They didn't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck. Just shameless shit, man. And I want to, on one hand, I want to say it was just because of the fucking app that I was watching the fight on. But we also got to remember this is the same people who did not put up Terrence Crawford's graphic. Just little goofy shit like that. They've been doing this shit for some time now, bro. They've been doing this shit for some time. It's just like, yo, I can't even... I'm trying to look for an alpha. I mean, I'm really not. I'm not trying to look for an alpha, but I'm just trying to, you know, be receptive to other, you know, other reasons as to why y'all just a trash ass product, uh, product with trash ass production. That was horrible. That was horrible. That was fucking horrible, bro. That was terrible. And you have to think you're you're trying to go to Amazon. You don't think they're watching that shit? You don't think they're watching that shit? There's people who would completely tune out watching another PBC broadcast because of shit like that. 
mishaps, just lapses in fucking just decision making. Rush product, bro. That was terrible production. You wildin' if you think a nigga ain't wouldn't be like, man, I'm not watching. Look at this shit, bro. This is terrible. I know for a fact y'all all types of memes and shit. Twitter, I know Twitter was going brazy last night. Behind this shit, like, what do y'all do? Are y'all even trying? Because it looked like y'all not even trying. Like, it just looked like y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all don't give a fuck. Hey, it is what it is. We on to the next one. We on the Amazon Prime. As if you don't think Amazon Prime is looking at y'all production. There shouldn't be shit that the average consumer or the average um the average spectator who who holds who knows nothing about production, who holds who knows nothing about camera work, who knows nothing about nothing except what time the TV show come on. There's no reason why somebody like me would be able to catch that shit and say, "Yo, are you serious right now?" That that right there, y'all. So y'all just not giving a fuck about none of that shit, huh? Like that's cool with you. I know nothing about TV production, bro. I know nothing about camera work. I know nothing about engineering. I don't know nothing about none of that shit. But I'm just seeing that. I'm just sitting back and looking at this product, and I'm like, how could anybody to? How could anybody be mad at clapping? Be mad at anybody clapping at these niggas? They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, man, just, man, just, it's no sense of pride with these dudes, man. These niggas are just, hey, yo, man, fuck it. This our last, our, our last hoorah, yo, man, just fuck it. Just whatever the fuck happened. Whatever, here, just take the, you know, uh, whatever. I did, it was no sort of visual stimulus, uh, stimulation. I didn't get different views from different camera angles in the fucking arena outside of the ring. Even on my fucking, what I was watching, I'm only hearing one announcer. I'm only hearing from one announcer. So I'm hoping that it was just because of the stream I, I watched it on, that that's the reason why, you know, that's the reason why it was, you know, it was acting like that, or was I got that type of product, uh, that type of product? But that still doesn't take away from the fact that the graphics that they were displaying on the screen last night were wrong as two left feet. And this is the man and his product that y'all want to sit here and defend. This is the man that y'all will literally get on. Y'all will go to war behind this dude. Y'all will go to war behind this nigga, behind the shit that he's doing. Behind it, y'all just none of this shit does. There's no way you can sit here and tell me if Top Rank put up Gary Russell instead of Shakur Stevenson on his on his broadcast, y'all would feel y'all wouldn't feel no type of way about that. Y'all would be like, what the fuck is this? Y'all be man, this shit is like, so what all black people look alike? Y'all would do that. As y'all should. There's no way if Matchroom put up goddamn Edgar Berlanga in place of a uh, 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 Pacheco, as far as his graphics is concerned, there's no way y'all wouldn't be looking to call that shit out. There's no way. No way in hell. No way in hell, but because Al does it, he gets a pass, bro. And you niggas are some of the most dense-minded motherfuckers I've ever come across in my life. Stupid niggas, man. Stupid. That was a travesty what I watched last night with the production. That was a travesty with the graphics. Who the fuck is paying the production team? Right? Who? 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 This shit doesn't even fit, bro. It, bro, it, it just, it's like another day at the office, bro. HBO is going out of business, bro. You was like, yo, who we gonna watch fights now? 
yeah, we still got the PBC on Showtime over there. And I remember they were celebrating that shit. They were celebrating that shit. They was said, you know, they was overjoyed that um, you know, that Bob ran that shit into the ground. They was overjoyed about that. But now, when it's time for niggas to get they lick back, you want to, you know, you want to shame a nigga and all that shit. And you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not for people being not, you know, being out of a job or whatever the case may be. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm just that's just never been my character, bro. I bit my tongue and gotten fired from a job because I just didn't want to go in the office and get the snitching on a nigga. You dig? I, I've been that guy before. I've been that guy before. But don't sit there and whack and, and you know. Sh- you know, use shaming tactics to get a nigga to stop banging on y'all. Y'all banged on the opposition for them going out of business. It was ha ha funny, funny shit when, when you know when Bob went down, but now that hour's going down, man. Y'all niggas are some clowns, man. Y'all niggas are some clowns. Fuck out of here, bro. I'm not rooting. And if I was good, if I had. If I had another two, just, you know, just if, if he started make you know, matchmaking like this three or four years ago, I even say two years ago. All right, cool. Cool. If he was matchmaking like this, we wouldn't have to be putting everything behind the paywall. These is the type of fights that we'd be getting on Showtime as we should be getting. Everything don't belong behind a fucking paywall. Everything don't belong behind a paywall. But we could have circumvented this shit because these type of fights are going to garner the attention of people, of, you know, of, of, box, of the boxing fan base. This is a fucking Showtime Boxing has been running as long as I've been alive. Me and Showtime Boxing is the same age. I'm 37. Showtime Boxing is 37. And y'all found a way to completely run that shit into the ground in a matter of years. The PBC ain't been around for, what, what, 27, 2016? Seven years? And here the fuck we are where we're not even feeling no type of way that Showtime Boxing is going under. It, it, it doesn't feel as melancholy when HBO went under, man. I was like, God damn, this shit is really over. This shit is like a gag up there on the P- on, on Showtime. It's like, damn, <laughs> damn, PBC really out of here, huh? Damn, you don't feel no type about it, way about it or nothing. This isn't good for the sport. As much as I can't stand Al Heyman, this is not good for the sport. This is terrible. More fighters are down. More fighters got to go inactive. We don't know when them fight. We don't if the niggas is go, if, if if they gonna be able to get up out of that contract and go over to another platform and fight again. We don't know that. At least with Al being around, I uh, you know we'll at least we can at least see him once. They have a day to look forward to. But we don't even know what that like. We don't know. This isn't a good look, man. And just last night, just really just 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 show how putrid of a fucking product that shit is, man. And how mismanaged it is. Terrible engineering, man. Like, that was bad. That was bad. That was god-awful. That was unacceptable, to be real. Completely unacceptable. Unprofessional. Classless. Funny. But classless and tasteless. And that's not the way you go out on it. You know, go out. That's not the way you go out, especially when you're trying to get another company to pick you up, man. Shit was tragic, man. I'm outie, man. I get with y'all niggas later. Y'all be easy. Deuces.